and thanks for tuning in to Pregnancy Pearls with me, Dr. Plenty. Today, we're gonna to talk about advanced maternal age. So what exactly is advanced maternal age? Well, you may have also heard it called elderly gravida or some other you know, archaic name for it. It basically means that you're having a baby and you're either over age 35 or will be over age 35 when the baby is born. Now, if you're having twins, that age cutoff is even younger. It will be 33 or above. So why is there a cutoff of who's advanced maternal age and who's not? Well, back in the day, the only test they had to test for Down syndrome is an amniocentesis. Down syndrome is the most common chromosomal abnormality that mothers have today. The risk of having a baby with Down syndrome at age 35 is about 1 in 300. The risk of having complications from an amniocentesis is also about 1 in 300. So if you're younger than age 35, the risk of an amniocentesis would outweigh the benefits of one, unless there's something else going on with the pregnancy that puts you at higher risk. So that's why there's that line in the sand. But if you really think about it, if you're 35, one in 300 isn't really all that bad. It just means that we need to take a little closer look. I personally was 36 years old when I had Harrison, and I know all the stats. I wasn't scared to get pregnant but I did know I needed to have a detailed ultrasound and look at the baby to see if there was anything going on that would put me at increased risk of having a baby with Down syndrome. So what are some of the risks of advanced maternal age? Of course, one, we just talked about it, you will have an increased risk of having a baby with chromosomal abnormalities, with the most common being Down syndrome. Down syndrome is when there's an extra copy on the number 21 chromosome. So normally, uh, a baby would have 23 chromosomes from mom and 23 from dad, making 46 chromosomes. So we all have 46 chromosomes. And the dad, of course, gives Y chromosome, which makes boys, and moms give an X chromosome, which makes a girl, right? Um, so sex is only determined by men. Don't let them guilt you into thinking you determine the sex because you didn't. Men determine the sex. Well, anyway... It does put you at higher risk for having a baby with chromosomal abnormalities. So the older you are, the, the more likely you are to have a baby with chromosomal abnormality. That doesn't mean that if you are 40, you're going to have a baby with a chromosomal abnormality. I'm not saying that. But it does mean that the odds are in your favor that you would have a baby with a chromosomal abnormality and you need to be tested. At age 40, you have about a 1 in 100 chance. So that number might sound scary, but that is a 1% chance of having a baby with Down syndrome. So what can you do to test for that? Um, well, there's nothing you can do to prevent that risk, but to test that risk, you could do either an amniocentesis, which is an invasive procedure where fluid is taken out of the uterus to test the baby's actual chromosomes. Like I said, there's about a one in 300 risk that there could be a complication like your water breaking. Now there's actually screening tests, which are pretty good for Down syndrome, like what's called a non-invasive prenatal screen, okay? There are a lot of companies that make them and you would talk to your doctor about which company they use. But basically those tests use fetal cells that flake off and enter your circulation and see if the baby has more chromosomes on the number 21 chromosome and then some other chromosome abnormalities it also tests for as well. So that's one thing that you would do. And then the other thing that you would do is you would get a screening ultrasound from high-risk specialists like me. And basically we look at the baby from head to toe, see if there's anything we can find that would make a baby at higher risk for having chromosomal abnormalities. And then based on what we find, we will counsel you and tell you about testing. Other things that women are at increased risk for uh, with advanced maternal age, also a ring risk for even if the baby's completely normal um, structural malformations most common being heart defect so on ultrasound we would look for heart defects brain defects cleft lip cleft palate and any defect that we can visualize so ultrasound is not perfect um, it definitely cannot diagnose a chromosome abnormality it would just tell you a higher risk for one but even if a baby's chromosomally normal um, an ultrasound will be needed to make sure there's nothing structurally going on okay People that have advanced maternal age also have increased risk of some other things. And these things may sound like super scary, but as long as you're taking care of yourself, looking for warning signs and followed by your doctor, you'll be safe. Things like gestational diabetes, that's when you have diabetes only in the pregnancy. 
um, and that's caused by hormones from the pregnancy. You also be at risk for high blood pressure and complications of high blood pressure, such as preeclampsia. They used to call it toxemia back in the day, and then they used to call it PIH, pregnancy-induced hypertension, also back in the day, and so now it's called preeclampsia. That just means that you have high blood pressure and some vascular damage that causes protein in your urine. Symptoms of that would be a headache, blurry vision, and pain in your, in your belly. So we'll talk about that at another time because that's a pretty important topic. But having advanced maternal age would put you at increased risk for some of those complications. So then you may ask yourself, okay, so Dr. Plenty, you're telling me I have increased risk for all these things in pregnancy like diabetes and high blood pressure and having a baby with Down syndrome and structural malformations. Oh my God, should I even get pregnant? Well, of course. So if you are healthy and so key thing with being pregnant is making sure you're healthy before the pregnancy. Please read my previous blog. Um, as long as you're healthy before the pregnancy, it is safe to continue preg becoming pregnant and having a healthy baby. So I don't want to scare you. This is just information to make sure you're aware of what your risk so that you know everything going head first, straight on into the pregnancy. I was 36 when I had Harrison. I had a lot of complications in pregnancy. Um, none of my complications were related to advanced maternal age though. So it doesn't mean that you're gonna have any of those things. You can have a perfect pregnancy and I pray that you do, but it's always good to be knowledgeable of what your risks are. Some people ask, okay, so Dr. Pointy, how can I reduce my risk of having a baby when I'm advanced maternal age. So if you're already over 35, then the cat's out of the bag. So you already have advanced maternal age, okay? So you have to just be positive, get screening early, and decide whether or not you want a baby, okay? If you have issues like heart disease already or diabetes already, or you're dealing with complications related to obesity, talk to your OBGYN and ask them honestly, like, is it safe to get pregnant? They will probably direct you to somebody like me to get a preconception consultation, or they may do the consultation themselves to go through all of your history to decide whether or not it's safe for you to get pregnant. If you are safe to get pregnant, age should not be the reason that you don't get pregnant, right? There are people that are having babies in their 50s, and they're completely normal babies in their 50s. There are more babies with Down syndrome born to 19 year olds than there are 40 year olds, just because 19 years are having more babies. So please don't let that discourage or stop you. This is just to make sure you understand your risk. So back to the question, you know, what can you do to reduce your risk? So if you're already at the internal age, cats out of the bag, can't reduce your risk, you just have to do what you have. But if you're under that, then some people may consider freezing their eggs. So I've been asked a lot of questions about should you freeze your eggs when you're age 33 or 34? Well, it's pretty much up to you. So yes, if you want to negate advanced maternal age, of course, if you're 30 and you don't know when you're gonna have kids, or if you want kids, then freezing your eggs will put you at risk of a 33 year old if you're 33 when you freeze your eggs or a 25 year old if you freeze your eggs at 25. But you have to keep in mind that if you freeze your eggs, that means that you're gonna have an IVF pregnancy. Okay, or in vitro fertilization. In vitro fertilization by itself carries some risk. So basically you have to weigh the pros and the cons of that. I definitely will do a video just on egg freezing in the future, but for advanced maternal age, don't let that stop you. Make sure you take care of yourself, make sure you get in shape and get healthy before the baby and things will likely be fine. Thanks for tuning in.